Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is a sunny but cold day here in Kingston and uh, we figured we'd get a garden infrastructure project taken care of today while our seedlings are inside starting their journey. It's a good time for us to get uh, a little something done in the garden. So today what we're actually going to be doing is building some cold frames for two of our garden beds. Uh, these are going to be some frames with plastic that's going to be over top of the hinged frames that we have existing already on the garden beds. Um, what we got here is some materials and our supplies. We've got our lumber, going to be ripping and cutting the stuff down on the table saw. We've got a collection of assorted screws. We're losing our collection of assorted screws. We've got some metal brackets, drill, staples, staple gun, and the plastic we're going to be using. Um, what we're using here is just actually a standard house vapor barrier plastic. It's a six mil polyethylene. You could get a more robust greenhouse plastic, but for economics, um, we're just going to be using this today. And yeah, that's what we're using. And next thing is to go outside and get some measurements and take some things apart. Alrighty, so these are three foot by 10 foot beds, but I just wanted to double check what my outside dimension is here. We've got 39. also going to be doing is we're going to take these parts out and repurpose them. Uh, just going to try to save a little bit of money on lumber. Lumber's expensive again right now. So uh, yeah, um, we'll show you later on what we're going to do to replace these. We're going to actually use some metal brackets. But uh, yeah, next step up, screw gun. All right, so we're back inside warming up, which is nice. because It's uh, probably about minus, at least minus 10 today, maybe minus 12. Uh, next up for us though, I got the dimensions I need, so I'm going to use my uh, three horsepower table saw here and rip these 2x4s down into 2x2s, and uh, we're going to use those parts to make up the frame. So what we're going to do now is I've got my four long pieces, I need my four short pieces. Uh, four short pieces each at 39 inches. I'm going to clamp them together, cross cut them with the skill saw here, and then measure the length I need and cross cut the other length. Um, cross cutting them twice just because these are repurposed and they each have an angled cut on one end, and we want square ends. So, and the clamp here is just to make things a little bit easier and hold it all together instead of everything kind of flopping around on me. So what we're going to do now is pre-drill a hole for a three inch screw to go through, a screw to go through, one board into the next and then after that we're going to take some inch and a quarter screws and attach these corner brackets to give the frame some rigidity and after that we'll stretch some plastic over it and uh, then take them back outside.
screw in there. Look at me go. So obviously not down on the floor anymore. I really need to clean up the shop so we can do some of our uh, projects in here. It's a bit of a nightmare. Um, but yeah, so same thing I did on the other corner. I'm gonna repeat now. I'm gonna pre-drill a couple holes, throw some three inch screws in. Those are mainly just to hold it while I put the brackets in place. But uh, yeah, get this thing done. And then we'll be taking this thing outside because I don't even want to try to get the plastic wrapped around this while we're still here in the shop. So, alrighty, let's go. All right, so next step, we've come outside, we're gonna nail off this plastic. Um, just not enough room in the shop today to make that happen. Uh, I'm gonna double wrap this in plastic, one piece on both sides of the frame, and uh, that's just to help increase the insulating value of the insulation. So uh, just gonna use a standard stapler and staple it to the uh, board. That's frame number one, all done. We've got to repeat the process now, just build the second frame for the other raised bed. But as you can see, that's all it really is. And uh, the whole idea is the plastic will help uh, let sun through and then keep the warmer temperatures inside. And we're starting now because we want uh, plenty of time to thaw out the soil that's in here, melt all the snow and get this ready for an early season of planting.